Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about fab. So why is that? Because we got a lot of information regarding fab. This is something that I've made a video about earlier when I talked about when Epic uh, released information about it, but now we have some more new information. So let's just take what they have released to us and condense it into a small video highlighting the more important parts. So what is FAB? Well, this is what you see in front of you currently is FAB. FAB is the future one-stop marketplace meant to allow you to find any assets for game dev related projects and also other projects where you need 3D models or 2D assets and other things. So when is FAB coming? FAB will be available in different capacities in the coming weeks. Uh, from today, uh, the publishing portal part of FAB opens up in the form of allowing Unreal Engine Marketplace sellers, current Unreal Engine Marketplace sellers, to migrate their assets to FAB. In early of October, so in about two weeks from now, SketchFab migration will open up and new sellers that want to be participating on FAB will be able to sign up. Then in the middle of October, about four weeks from now, FAB will have its official launch. So, what is actually happening here? Well, they have released this blog and this is where I'm summarizing my information from. I will leave it in the description down below if you want to read the details. But in essence, what is happening is Fab will be consolidating a bunch of different marketplaces that exist today. So things like ArtStation, Quixel Megascans, uh, SketchFab and Unreal Engine Marketplace. So these marketplaces will all cease to exist in the shape and form that they have today and will be moving over to FAB as a unified marketplace. What this means for the different marketplaces vary a little, uh, but these are, in my opinion, the main takeaways from this. So Unreal Engine Marketplace, if we start there, it will be fully replaced by FAB. Uh, if you are a current seller on Unreal Engine Marketplace, you can today start migrating your assets to FAB, like I mentioned earlier. In addition to that, you will, on your sales until the end of 2024, get a 100% of the revenue split. After the year is up, the revenue split will go back to being 88% for the seller and 12% for Epic. In addition to that, if you are an existing seller, uh, assets from Unreal Engine Marketplace will move over to FAB in the form of reviews uh, when it counts the stars, so the star reviews. Um, things that will not move over will be text questions and review texts. So this will be a little bit of a problem because a lot of assets are reviewed by bots and uh, things like that and have mismatching reviews so losing the questions and people posing problems and things like that uh, will be lost in the transition hopefully there will be something new to uh, take cover for that uh, once the full launch of fab actually happens uh, if you have assets that you own already on the Unreal Engine, they will still be available in the vault for you if you want to make use of them there. But it seems like you will have a different, uh, I don't know what to call it, an inventory, I suppose, when Fab is fully launched and your assets that you have purchased earlier on Unreal, Unreal Engine Marketplace should still be yours once it reaches Fab. Uh, for the Quixel Megascan marketplace, marketplace uh, this will migrate to FAB as well and moving forward it will change its monetization. It will no longer have all of its assets available for free for Unreal Engine users like it had in the past. Um, so anything you have downloaded prior from Quixel is still going to be considered yours on FAB once the migration is done. In addition to that, anything that you actually acquire on FAB from the Megascan libraries until the end of 2024 will be yours forever. Uh, after 2024, some assets will remain free and others will not. Uh, this is because their monetization model will be moving towards something like one asset will be $1, asset packs will be 25 and stuff like that. They have some uh, pricing model there but essentially you can't guarantee that everything that they have now will be free 
uh, in the future. So you may want to acquire all the Megascan assets for free before the end of 2024 on FAB to make sure that you, in quotation marks, own it. Uh, if you want to delve in to any of the details of what I've been talking about so far, or you want to know more about specific parts that I've summarized, I will leave the blog link in the description, like I said. Uh, but these are, in my opinion, the most important parts, or at least the ones that affect me the most and my fields. Um, in summary, I hope that this unified asset interface that FAB will become will come with an improved inventory to keep track of your own assets because the vault is sort of cluttered and difficult to maneuver. Uh, I'm hoping for an easier and more rich place to be able to find assets that I want or need and hopefully a less sluggish experience as well because the Unreal Engine marketplace is a bit um, well unwieldy I would say. Anyway, I hope that this information has been useful to you. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you're hoping for with FAB and what your thoughts are on all of this. For now, keep on learning. Take care. A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from.